In this video, we are going to show you how to set up your LX85 telescope. You'll find that this telescope system has all that you need to explore the universe. The LX85 is available in nine different apertures, including a 5-inch refractor, a 6-inch Maxitoff Cassegrain, a 6-inch and 8-inch reflector, and a 6-inch and 8-inch Advanced Coma Free, or ACF. The LX85 is also offered with the Series 6000 APOS, including the 70mm Astrograph and 80 and 115mm APO. Each LX85 package comes with a sturdy German equatorial mount equipped with a Vixen-style dovetail receiver and AudioStar handbox. Excluding APOS, each LX85 comes with two eyepieces, a 9.7mm and 26mm Super Plossel, and an 8x50 optical viewfinder with crosshairs. The 5-inch refractor and 6 and 8-inch reflectors are equipped with a 2-inch rack and pinion focuser, while the 6-inch MAC and 6 and 8-inch ACFs are equipped with an internal single-speed focuser that accepts standard SCT and ACF accessories, including 2-inch star diagonals. When observing from the Northern Hemisphere, set up the telescope in a large dark open area where you can see lots of sky and where the North Star Polaris is visible. Make sure the ground is stable and is approximately level. Stand the tripod vertically with the tripod feet down and with the tripod still fully collapsed. Grasp two of the tripod legs and with the full weight of the tripod on the third leg, gently pull the legs apart to a fully open position. Adjust the height of the tripod by loosening the height adjustment lock knobs at the bottom of each leg one at a time. Raise the leg to the desired level and tighten the lock knob so the tripod head is level. Locate the azimuth alignment post on the top side of the tripod. In the northern hemisphere, the azimuth alignment post should be on the north side of the tripod. Place the LX85 mount on top of the tripod so that the side which contains the motor covers is positioned over the azimuth alignment post. While holding the mount onto the top of the tripod with one hand, secure the mount to the tripod by threading in the tripod center rod and locking nut. Attach the two azimuth adjustment knobs to the mount. Attach the front altitude lock knob and the rear altitude adjustment knob. We suggest roughly setting the latitude on the mount before more weight is added. This makes the latitude adjustments easier. Adjust the latitude knob so the latitude scale on the mount reads your observing location latitude. Loosen the front altitude lock knob a few times to allow room for adjustment. Move the back altitude adjustment knob until the degree scale on the mount matches the latitude for your observing site. Remove the accessory tray nut from the center rod and slide the accessory tray up until it comes in contact with the tripod legs. Attach the nut and firmly tighten until the accessory tray is in full contact with the tripod legs. Thread the locking nut onto the top of the counterweight shaft until it stops. Now thread the counterweight shaft into the mount until it stops. Tighten the locking nut against the mount so the counterweight shaft is firmly held into position. Unlock the right ascension lock level lever and position the counterweight shaft so that it's pointing downward towards the ground. Remove the safety nut and slide the counterweight to the middle position of the counterweight shaft and secure in place by using the locking screw. Rethread the safety nut onto the counterweight shaft for protection. You will later adjust the position of the counterweight to balance the mount after the tube assembly and accessories have been added. Plug the declination cable into the port of the control panel, labeled DEC. Then plug the other end of the cable to the port located on the declination motor housing cover. Plug the AudioStar cable into the port of the control panel, labeled HBX. Then plug the other end into the bottom of the AudioStar handbox. Plug your power supply into the power input port. The power input port uses a 5.5 mm outside diameter and 2.5 mm inside diameter socket. The optional Mead AC power adapter, number 07584, can be used if you have access to an AC outlet. Or the Mead number 607 DC cable with cigarette lighter plug can be used if powering from a car or external battery with a cigarette lighter connector. Position the right ascension so that the counterweight, or counterweights, face downward towards the ground, and declination so that the dovetail saddle runs north and south along the mount. In this position, the registration marks on each axis should be aligned. This is the home position of the mount and has the most secure position to attach the optical tube. Firmly tighten both the right ascension and declination lock levers. As a reminder, the counterweight should always be installed before attaching the optical tube. 
place your OTA's dovetail bar flat against the dovetail saddle of the LX85. Make sure the bar is flat against the saddle. With one hand holding the OTA, use your other hand to tighten the dovetail attachment screws. Check that everything is secure before letting go of the optical tube. Install all of the accessories onto the mount. For Mac, Refractor, and ACF users, insert the diagonal mirror and secure it with the locking thumb screw. Then install the 26mm eyepiece. Install the eyepiece directly into the focuser draw tube and secure into position using the locking thumb screws. Start with the lower power 26mm eyepiece when possible. Insert the 8x50 finder scope into the finder scope bracket and secure it to the telescope with the locking thumb screws. Whether you're using the LX85 series optical tube or an optical tube of your own, balancing the LX85 equatorial mount allows for safe operation and to achieve the best stability, tracking, and pointing accuracy. Always balance the scope after all the accessories have been added to the scope. Carefully unlock the right ascension lock lever while holding onto the telescope. Move right ascension so that the counterweight shaft is horizontal. Gradually let go of the telescope and see which way it starts to swing. If it swings towards the optical tube, slide the counterweight down the counterweight shaft. If towards the counterweight side, slide them upward. Do this until the right ascension axis does not move when the right ascension lock lever is unlocked. A well-balanced right ascension will reduce motor strain and improve telescope performance. With the right ascension counterweight shaft still pointing horizontally, tighten the right ascension lock lever. Carefully unlock the declination lock lever while holding onto the optical tube. If it swings forward, towards the opening of the optical tube, then the declination access is front heavy. If backward, it is back heavy. Before adjusting the OTA, always move the optical tube back to the home position. Carefully unlock the dovetail locking screws while holding onto the optical tube. Then slide the scope forward and backward slightly as needed to reach balance. Congratulations, you have now successfully set up your LX85. The next step is alignment. Need help? Check out our video, How to Align Your LX85, and complete your setup of Mead's LX85.